Star Wars only. I don't know what the fuck your problem is. A few days ago, we talked about how Tom Kane said there's nine different Star Wars films in various stages of production, and how there's going to be nine films coming out in the next, you know, maybe ten years. One every year would be the ideal. You had the Ryan Johnson trilogy, the, um, what's, uh, Episode Nine, the 2020 standalone film, which was rumored to be the Kenobi film, the Boba Fett film, and then you had the two creators for, or the two writers for the Game of Thrones getting their own series of movies, which we don't know anything about. So, new news that has come out today, which is kind of contradicting everything that we know already, is that it's an exclusive article by Collider, which is a decently reliable source. They're not really, you know, any fake news or anything. They're pretty honest about this kind of stuff. They say they have inside sources saying that um, due to, not really due, but because and, you know, in spite of recent re events with the solo film, they're postponing all st uh, Star Wars story spinoff movies. Uh, they say Star Wars story. Let's just say Star Wars spinoff movies. They're postponing all that and focusing all their attention on episode 9. And get this. And the trilogy of Star Wars films that will be after that film. I have a problem with that statement, but we'll get to that later. They say the inside sources, which I would assume work for Lucasfilm, tell us that previously rumored Obi-Wan Kenobi movie was in active development, but those who were working on the film are no longer involved. And um, he also it talks about the recently reported uh, Logan filmmaker James Mongold was in early talks to write and direct the Boba film, but that was before Solo's release. And so it's it's a mess. Here's what the problem with this is. Should you take this with a grain of salt? No. Why? Because this does make sense. Solo did not do so well in the box office. It flopped. It lost about $50 million for the uh, for Lucasfilm, more or less Disney, because that's where the money's coming from. So it lost $50 million. So does it make sense to postpone all you know future spinoff films? Nah, no. I do agree with taking your time. You know, you really like that Incredibles 2 movie that just came out. It took 14 years to make. It wasn't amazing. I think the first one was better, but I'm not going to lie. Incredibles 2 was enjoyable. I liked it. But films take time. You don't want to release something every year like Call of Duty or like Assassin's Creed did, and then Assassin's Creed had to take, you know, a hiatus for a minute and then come back with um, whatever the one in Egypt or something. I never played it. I don't really care anymore. But still, here's the problem I'm having with this news. Everything's contradicting each other. And all this means and all this shows to me is bad PR and bad business management. This is where you have to call out Kathleen Kennedy of you need to control your employees. You have countless inside sources, which mostly people are from Lucasfilm. No matter who you are, if you're working for Lucasfilm and you know something, you're going to get, you know, some good scoops. You know, people like Collider, they'll probably pay you and they'll probably give you something special for giving out information like this. People like doing this stuff because, I mean, we're humans. We gossip and, you know, that's just how we are, and especially about interesting stuff like Star Wars. So... The solo flop because it, I'm having a problem with the with the business strategy that Collider's reporting at least is that they're going to focus on Episode Nine for that you know forget all the other nine films we're focusing on Episode Nine I'm okay with that I like that I'd rather you focus on one film at a time instead of twenty films at a time focus on Episode Nine fine my problem with this though is the statement that follows that it says they're opting to focus their attention on Star Wars Episode Nine and what the next trilogy of Star Wars films will be after that film. The problem I have with that statement is I would assume they're talking about the Ryan Johnson trilogy. And I personally don't like Ryan Johnson. I think he did really good as, as a director of Looper. I haven't seen it in a long time, but I used to really like that movie. But I hated The Last Jedi. My problem with this is that it looks like they're going off the notion that, well, Solo didn't do well because no one wanted to see Solo. Therefore, we need to stop you know, focusing on all these different nine films and postpone all the spinoff movies, and we need to focus on the next episode, the episodic one, episode 9, and then we're going to worry about Ryan Johnson's trilogy. The problem I have with this is that the good news is, yes, you postpone some of these films and you work on the production aspect of it. Solo was rigged with bad production. No one's fault, honestly, but Kathleen Kennedy for not agreeing with the directors and firing them and then bringing in Ron Howard. So, I have a problem with that because that's not really anyone's fault but Kathleen Kennedy. I, you know, no matter what you say, that really is her fault. Another problem I'm having with this is they're going off the notion that people didn't want to see the solo film. It's not that people didn't want to see the solo film. It's people boycotted the solo film because of The Last Jedi, because of Ryan Johnson. You have your director, Ryan Johnson, who is constantly on Twitter, constantly bashing it out with other fans, debating Luke Skywalker, and then someone posts something, oh, you know, Luke Skywalker's like this, you know, he's got this, and Ryan Johnson's like, yeah, 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 that's the character of Luke Skywalker. And then, you know, they'll say, if you don't like it, well, that's because these misogynist people who attacked Kelly Marie Tran and stuff like that. It's stuff like that where you have this bad PR aspect of the Lucasfilm employees and you don't have anyone at the helm saying, hey, you can't talk to our fans like that. You can't talk to the customers like that. No matter what you say, the biggest thing in you know America is customer service. 
and the way to you know sell to customers and everything uh, what's the guy sam walton the guy yeah it's sam walton right he's the guy for uh, that you know created walmart his biggest thing was you have to make the customers happy you don't bash talk to them nothing you make them feel like they're at home when you enter walmart that's not the case anymore but still they're very kind to you and everything that was the whole premise of walmart when it started from sam walton that was the idea you don't see that anymore with someone like Kathleen Kennedy. Why? Well, because she's a producer. She's a production person. She pays people, and that was really it. She cared, she dealt with the money aspect of things. But dealing with the movie aspect of things and creativity and keeping your employees in line, she's doing horrible at this. And so now you have cases like this where people are, you know, literally, you know, going back and forth on Twitter with the people who work at Lucasfilm. That's bad PR. And so, rant aside, my problem with this is they're acting like, oh, well, Solo was a flop, so we got to postpone all spinoff movies. Solo wasn't a flop because Solo was a bad movie. It's an okay movie. Solo was a flop because people boycotted it because of Ryan Johnson, because of The Last Jedi. So it makes no sense to me why you would say no more spinoff films when those have been the best reviewed ones and compared to the episodic ones. You know, Rogue One, will many consider to be the best new one that's come out, and Solo is arguably better than The Last Jedi and The Force Awakens. I disagree with that statement, but that's what some people would argue with. So it makes no sense to postpone the ones that are going to cost you less money and most likely make you more money, except for The Force Awakens, because, you know, that was, you know, Star Wars Return. You postpone that for a guy who literally is one of the sole reasons this whole thing is becoming, you know, shit. Ryan Johnson is the reason people boycotted Solo, a Star Wars story. We boycotted it, or we didn't. Y'all boycotted it. Most people boycotted it because they didn't like The Last Jedi because Ryan Johnson had full control. This guy who directed maybe one or two good movies in his entire life got to write and direct a movie. And it was trash. And so people were like, well, I hated that film, so I'm not going to watch Solo. And Disney, or Lucasfilm, Kathleen Kennedy goes, oh, well, if you don't like Solo, well, then you're not going to like the other episodic films or the other spinoff films, so we're going to focus on Ryan Johnson's trilogy in the next episodic film. No. If you're going to do anything, what I would recommend is you can Ryan Johnson's trilogy, and you worry only about the spinoff films. After Episode Nine, don't worry about any more episodics. Don't give anyone their own trilogy. Only do spinoff films. That's what I would do. Build some characters. Build some characters we've never seen before. Or build characters we have seen before. And then you can work them into a new trilogy. Kind of like you did with uh, Marvel. You got Iron Man. You built him up. Not the biggest Marvel character. You built him up. And then you get Captain America. You build these characters up. And then when you finally get them in together like an Avengers movie, which could be a trilogy kind of thing, it's amazing. And so they could do that with these characters. You could get spinoff films and then work up into another epic Sonic film. But hey, what do I know? So... This is really bad PR-wise, business-wise. Uh, Lucasfilm can't seem to get its feet underneath them. They keep tripping over themselves because they're running so fast trying to get all these films out. Now we're getting these contradicting news and these inside sources that are leaking. I mean, there used to be a time where Star Wars, you know, any leaks that were coming out, you, they were fake. Or they were purposely sent out just to get the fans, you know, see what would happen and everything. You'd make fake scripts and whatnot. Now we're getting in this case of everybody's contradicting each other because it doesn't seem like anybody knows what they're doing. It seems at the point where now Kathleen Kennedy's letting their you know company kind of run wild and free, and well, not really. She has control over everything, but the PR aspect, she's letting everybody say whatever they want. That's not good. You look at Marvel, you look at Pixar, people that are ran by Disney or owned by Disney. The presidents, you don't even know their names, at least I don't, and they let the directors and people have their creative freedom, but PR aspect-wise, you don't see them arguing with the fans on Twitter. That's stupidity. That's bad business. So if anything, if, there, if there's a film that I wouldn't want to go see and that I personally would boycott, it would be the next Ryan Johnson film. I don't like the guy. I think he's a bad Star Wars fan. Well, I wouldn't say bad Star Wars fan. A Star Wars fan is a Star Wars fan. I think he's a bad director. I think he's a bad writer. And I don't think he's a good guy. I, I think he's an asshole because he constantly bashes anyone who disagrees with him or criticizes him. I don't mind if you disagree with me or criticize me. I mind you bashing me and calling me an asshole. That's not critiques. That's just being a dick. And that's what Ryan Johnson does. He's like, oh, these people don't like The Last Jedi. Well, because they're misogynists. You know, they're stupid conservative Republicans. They're idiots. It's stuff like that. And then Kathleen Kennedy doesn't go, hey, I agree with you, but you shouldn't say that. She goes, yeah, do what you want. That's the problem we're having with Star Wars now is that they have no control over PR. And it's just annoying. But, hey, what the hell do I know? I'm just the guy buying the tickets, right?